Okay, thank you. Dr. Jesus Jara will be staying with CCSD after contract negotiations with the board of, of uh, was approved for an extension for the superintendent. But as I found out today, not everyone was happy about this decision. Okay, the motion passes four to three. Dr. Jesus Jara will continue to lead the school district for another three and a half years. Dr. Jara will also receive a $75,000 pay increase, bringing his yearly salary to nearly $400,000. This extension comes one week after the board completed his yearly evaluation, rating him as highly effective. But the contract wasn't the only item up for debate on Wednesday as teachers and parents took turns voicing their concerns over the stability and competency of the school board itself. You guys all look like fools. You all look insane. Today, the board members in support of the new contract said Clark County needs stability and Jaro would provide that. This contract through 2026 puts us through two election cycles and gives them some semblance of stability in this district and we need it. While opposing members brought up issues of the school board's firing and then rehiring of Jara just a year ago. Those same sentiments were echoed by those speaking at the meeting. You're setting a precedent that a superintendent can come into our district. We can say they are poorly performing regardless of what happened behind closed doors or whatever. We fired him. We fired him. And now you're telling us that he's earning a satisfactory rating. How does that happen? Concerns about the lack of transparency were also present. To hold a meeting on a Wednesday that disclude that, I can't even say my words right, I'm so hot and angry, that does not include a large number of our um, community. And after the meeting, parents rallied and urged the community to step up and vote in November. Believe that the ultimate solution is for this school board to be dissolved start fresh. Let the voters choose. Well, three school board seats are up for election in November. If uh, they make up the board changes, members could decide as soon as January to terminate Dr. Jesus Jara's contract, which would result in a nearly $2 million payout.